I think that the, the main message concerning ultrasound guidance is that the uh, improvement of the quality of the block is probably related to the ultrasound guidance in part and to the combined uh, use of ultrasound guidance and nerve stimulation. The main reasons are when you do a block with an ultrasound guidance, you minimize the length of the procedures, the duration of the procedures. You decrease uh, the onset time of the block. All these kinds are very proved by beautiful studies, well done studies. You uh, improve the quality of the block in skilled or non-skilled hands because you have to put and you can put the needle tip and the catheter if you use it at the vicinity of the nerve. This kind of thing is very important. If we consider some improvements that have been done the, next, the last two, two years, it is important to keep in mind that the improvement done, done by the company uh, uh, concerning the needles are very important. Because now we are able with the famous echogenic needle, we are able to see the shaft and mainly the tip of the needle. Mm -hmm. And viewing the tip of the needle is very, very important for us as a clinician, as a practitioner, as experts. Because the most important thing is the safety of the patient. So we don't have to put the tip intrafascicularly in the patient. So we have to exactly to see where the tip lies and where we have to put the tip on the paranorium of the nerve, interfascicularly in the epinorium if we want, or extranoral in the better location. If we have an echogenic needle, and mainly the new ecogenic ones done by Pajunk or other companies, we have better uh, possibilities to do this kind of uh, practice and block. Concerning the teaching and the training of residents or new uh, young anesthetists uh, wanting to do uh, regional blocks, it is important to have this kind of uh, ecogenic needle because the ecogenic needle permits to us to follow the needle insertion during the procedure so uh, we have to use, uh, firstly, the needles in uh, blue phantom, in cadavers, uh, before doing that on the patient. Despite the model we used, the, the, the interest of echogenic needle is that we can follow the shaft and the tip of the needle. And it is better for the learning curve for the residents. And it has been demonstrated that when we use this needle, despite the model, despite the angle we used, despite the uh, uh, quality of uh, the echogenicity of the patient, despite the block we want to do in the patient, using echogenic needle improve the quality of the block, but improve also the teaching of this kind of technique. Most, if we consider cost for the processors, uh, the main important thing is to uh, have a sort of uh, uh, kind of reflection about the, uh, uh, the clinical pathways. So if we consider all the uh, procedures we can do with regional anesthesia in comparison with general anesthesia. In all these clinical pathway, for instance, uh, carpal tunnel release, total knee replacement, total hip replacement, hernia repair, all these kind of things, uh, it is better to use regional anesthesia technique if you consider not the safety of the patient, not the result of the block, but only the cost and the hospital stay. It's better to use regional anesthesia.